It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it One man, one show One you army, really nigga <laughs> I'm a go, God, nigga What? Really, nigga? What's good, fuck niggas and fuck bitches? How y'all motherfuckers feeling, man? Let's go God Swan in this bitch, my nigga. But look, man. <laughs> we got a lot of shit to talk about, bro. We, we talking about the rep system, archetypes, um, all this news, all this takeover ability. I'm gonna let y'all know my opinion, nigga. You know, since I am the IQ God Sensei himself, Grandmaster, catch this fucking fade, you know? You, you know, you, you can't get realistic like feedback like this from a you know like it's low key it's like i'm a fucking time traveler nigga i haven't even touched the game but i just know so much it's crazy my nigga i'm, I'm some type of fucking um intellectual genius man but look before we start the video disclaimer for the fuck niggas okay I'm going to be cursing i'm going to probably say nigga like a hundred times this video, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be speaking very aggressively and sadly, and I, I may change my voice a little bit to, to you know, spice it up to a little and be a little animated, you know, entertainment, bitch. So if you're just a fucking weirdo, you know, you're just a dweeb, fucking loser, you have you have no sense of humor, leave the video, bitch. Okay? Well, I'm sick of you dumb niggas. Oh my god, and look how many times you said nigga. What is, what is this? What is this video? <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking lame nigga. But look, bro. <laughs> hey, also, also, also. Like the fucking video. It's free. It helps a young nigga getting recommended. Yeah? Yeah? No? Yeah? It, it takes you no effort. You feel me? Like, you can just. Go tap that bitch. That shit help out young swan. Y'all y'all niggas wanna see me grow? Or no? You know? And leave a comment about what archetype you think you gonna uh make first. Anyways, let's get into this fucking video. Um one more thing before I get into the news and shit. For any of you niggas that pull up on me and you dick my center, cause I'm kinda getting a vibe that inside centers might be OP as fuck. You know, I don't, I don't really like that shit, nigga. Because I don't really play with too many good centers, bro. You know, it's very rare where you play with a good center. So if you come and you dick my center and you're an inside, like, your W doesn't count. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, a, I ain't gonna hold you. You dick my center, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't count, <laughs> you know, like, so you can dick them as much as you want, you know. Fuck you, nigga. But look. Anyways, man, so let's get into this news, man. We got some exciting news. We got some news to to where you think shit gonna be OP as shit, nigga. Like, god damn, bro. Like, this nigga Mike Wang spazzing. So, this nigga goaded underscore YT. I guess you have a YouTube. Um, he says, will glass cleaners be better in 19? Because in 18, there's no point in making one be good. Because anyone could grab rebounds. <laughs> Low key, it's like that every year, nigga. Mike Wang replies, Glass Cleaner got a lot of love this year. One of my favorite additions is in TakeOver. They get a target on the floor, showing where the ball's gonna go on missed shots. Gives them a huge rebounding advantage. They also get elbow clear outs after offensive boards prior to putbacks. Now, uh, I hope only the glass cleaner can see that shit. Um, <laughs> that shit gonna be OP. Cause what if everyone can see it? Or what if only your team can see it? You can low key know when uh you're gonna miss and shit. Or maybe they make it to where it's always going to pop up, even if, but I don't, I don't fucking know which way they're going to make it. But, um, 
Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. I, I don't know. And this this gives me ideas on like what the other takeovers are gonna be. Like if they're gonna make something like that for glass cleaners, you know, they might, you know, try and spice shit up for other fucking archetypes, man. Oh, and some OP shit, nigga. They saying with glass, nigga, when you get an offensive board, you do some elbow swing shit. That shit probably is like an animation that back up the nigga off of you, and that's an easy put back. Oh shit, you heard it here first, nigga. You might want to put glass first or second. Because you get to uh, I I'll, I'll explain it later, bro. You you get to use um like say you're a dual archetype, you get to use two of the fucking takeovers. I, I'll I'll explain it later in the So this guy responds. This only for pure glass cleaners or builds with rebounding secondary too primary glass only so either you're pure glass or you're secondary glass and you you get a little trajectory fucking circle on the fucking game oh shit hold up hold up hold up new news nigga new new breaking news my nigga shout out to all y'all watching my long ass videos of me just talking i really appreciate the love niggas really don't watch long ass videos like that especially when a nigga not face camera so y'all niggas must really like me I appreciate all the positive comments y'all niggas say I'm the funniest nigga ever or in the community. You know, I, I know I know it's facts, but I appreciate the love. But um, this nigga says, um, question I have is, will the target be visible to the whole team or exclusive to the glass cleaner on his screen? Mike Wang replies, just for the glass and only when he's hot. I thought it was takeover. Maybe I read the shit wrong, but I guess whenever the glass cleaner's hot, that shit gonna pop up. I don't know if Mike Wayne typed some some weird shit or what. So Lewis too lit. I guarantee you not lit. How will Playmaker's takeover badge be? Will it be like the grand badge in 2K17 or different? Mike Wayne responds. Playmakers are the only one who can put someone on their back with an ankle breaker. Now, low key, this is all ass backwards, nigga. You know, ass backwards. I'm gonna explain it to you why right here. Playmakers in real life, you know, they're not really ankle breaker niggas, you know? They're more facilitators and shit like that. Shot creators, you know, they're the niggas that break ankles, you know? Like, it's like a mixed build type shit. So I don't know why only um, playmakers are the only one who could put someone on their back. I kind of like that because I got tired of fucking niggas using archetypes that couldn't break ankles and make niggas fall, you know, very toxic, especially because there is a there is an exploit in the game where you could make niggas fall with any build. You know, I don't really want to talk on it. All it was was a half spin. You're basically going to get a fuck. You're basically going to make the nigga fall like you do that shit three times. Niggas going to fall on oh, God. <laughs> You know, you can make a nigga fall like three, two times with a fucking sharp, a pure stretch. Broken. Y'all niggas didn't know that. Broken. Yeah, nigga. Shit crazy. But um, he also says they also get boost to their shot after breaking someone off the dribble and an extra dimer like buff to their own teammates. That's nice. You know, because I'm spam God sensei, you know, ankle bully himself, nigga. You know, I, I like to bully niggas' ankles and shit, pause. And, uh, you know, so I, it seemed like, you know, I'll be able to break niggas and pop a three, pop pop a midi, get a nice dimer, you know? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. So, J Peso, he responds, okay, 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 anything okay, new okay, for okay, us slashers okay. this year? Mike Wang says, Slashers get a big boost when using Euro Cradle, Hop Step, and Spin Lace and boosted contact shots in takeover. Sounds to toxic as shit. If you beat me with a slasher and you're just making contested dunks and layups, that shit don't count either. So I'm just letting you know when y'all niggas pull up and shit. Um, <laughs> dunkers unlock special contact dunks that no one else can get yeah until the animation glitch comes along nigga bro i hope that shit not in the game bro i mean when it does come out i'm gonna do it 
I don't I don't give a fuck, nigga. Like I ain't gonna be at no disadvantage, fuck nigga. But come on man. Every fucking year, bro. I know this shit make y'all money, but come on, my nigga. Ban niggas. Don't y'all agree with me that once the shit comes, just start banning niggas. Put out a warning, be like, yo, don't have this shit on. You get caught, we're banning you. And then implement it, you know? Niggas want to blame YouTubers and shit. Like, shut the fuck up. Ban niggas. Niggas won't do it then. But make sure you give out a warning so niggas know. So, this nigga show off says, so Mike, what if your glass cleaner primary and athletic finisher for secondary is takeover mode for blah, blah, blah. he's saying a bunch of shit hold on so this is the rep news okay this is the rep news takeover just applies to your primary arc until you reach 94 overall at that point you get takeover for both primary and secondary arcs if you're a pure you stay hot longer at 94 so this is fucking terrible this kind of low-key confirms that the rep system is going to be the overall shit which is fucking terrible it's stupid as shit you know fuck i think it's lame as shit bro uh i don't like it because it doesn't carry over to all your other players and shit like then you gotta keep upgrading this shit but low key at least for this style that's good because it gives niggas a reason to play the fucking game and to rep up and shit hopefully it's all only all park based and my career gives you a little a little bit of fucking rep nigga you know but hopefully you know grinding rep is mostly park pro-am pro-am yes normal pro-am and walk on wreck whatever base you know uh but shit you you get takeover for primary and secondary but pure stays hot longer like that shit sound kind of crazy nigga this don't this shit sound cheesy as shit to y'all niggas like god damn y'all let me know what y'all think the rep system gonna be man i'm it's it's seeming like it's gonna be that lame ass shit, bro. So this nigga George Simpson, no profile Mike. His shit says like Mike. Oh, classic as shit, you know? Fucking bot. This nigga says, hey Mike, can you tell me anything new about the post score? <laughs> Even though he's been dropping post score news, you know? <laughs> Mike Wink says, post scores get a lot in takeover. He's letting you know. How many times this nigga address post scores? These niggas are gonna be fucking OP, bruh. He's saying power back downs, clear outs, and spin drive content unique to their arc. Boosted hooks, fades, shimmies. See hoops hooked you up this year. So <laughs> broken. <laughs> Post scores have been fucking cancer for, for years, nigga. I don't, I don't know why they're getting this over attention. I don't know, man. I can already see these niggas getting nerfed. Young Lewis, man. I mean, th this low key confirming uh what archetypes are in the game. This is confirming that multiple archetypes are in the game, basically. You know, how he's in, he broke it down and shit. I don't know why he keeps responding to Lewis, you know? Is the athletic finisher takeover badge the same as the slashers or is it different? Mike Wayne says, mainly the same, mainly the same. But they can clear guys out the paint for dunks since it's tougher for them to beat guys off the dribble. <sighs> Young Derek then with no profile picture. He says, can we steal momentum behind the back? Yes, and it no longer requires you to hold sprint. Hmm. That sounds, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe they slowed it down so much that this shit just don't matter. But that shit in the, uh, the footage that they released, that my team shit, that shit looked kind of smooth. 
with Giannis. Now, low key, bro, I think rim protector, rim stretches, pause. Pause this shit. I'm thinking these niggas are going to be like a must. Because it's sounding like inside builds are going to be OP. I don't fucking know. I'm speculating, bitch. You fucking idiot. So, hey, man. It seemed like them rim protector shards, they, they, they might be needed to stop this cancer shit. And still be able to shoot threes. But this nigga says, for paint protectors takeover, how does it work? Mike Wayne says, paint protectors get exclusive block content, snatch grab blocks, and smash shot percents on good contests. They also cancel offensive takeover skills when they are hot. You can't clear out a hot RP. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I don't know, man. Y'all think them niggas gonna be crazy? So he responds to motherfucking power, nigga. He gave us a lot of info about TakeOver, but could you give us more info about how TakeOver will help affect shooter stretches? Thanks, Baluba. Could you guys retweet this so he could see this? Head ass, this nigga see all that shit, nigga. Mike Wayne says, TakeOver modifies shot windows for shooting builds to make it easier to hit perfect timing. It also boosts or unlocks the full potential of shooting badges. For example, with Limitless, only sharps in TakeOver can bomb from curry lanes with any effectiveness. We'll see. I always be shooting from curry range. <sighs> These lock sharps, nigga. I don't know, man. I know fucking LaMonster. I know that nigga hype as shit, bro. I, I know he gotta be hype as shit, bruh. With all this lockdown and defensive news, bro. Young motherfucking laid back Gino. <laughs> no profile picture at all. What type of takeover do us lockdowns get? I bet I bet you fucking lockdowns are gonna pull up on me too. I'm still gonna drop you off, nigga. Ain't no lockdown ever fucking stop me. We'll see. On 19, pull up. <laughs> pull up. But Mike Wang says, shot contest boost, ability to cut off dribblers and make them pick up the ball, cancel out offensive takeover skills, boosted steals, including exclusive ability to knock the ball loose on catches, advantages in securing 50-50 balls, chuck grab with fewer fouls, and more aggressive content. It look like he, he going in. No more blow-by type shit. It look like he he trying to prove a point. We'll see, my guy. You feel me? We'll, 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 we'll see. God damn, Mike Wayne, you tweeted so much. Nigga, you gonna make me drop a fucking 30-minute vid, my nigga. <laughs> so this nigga Shooter McGavin. I bet you this nigga sucks at Sharp too. Shooter McGavin. Fuck out of here, boy. This nigga says, what's the word for pure Sharps, Mike? Do they still get those green animations? He says sharps are the only build who get the green animations, i.e. showboat shot landings. I don't like that. Um, I liked all guards. I liked every build getting the animations. They, they look cool, but I guess that shit will make it more rare and cool like shit. Man, you better have it to where us playmakers dribble with fire on the ball then, nigga. Like shit. Come on, bruh. So, Surged Up says, Can greens actually look like wet where they are all net instead of 18 where a green bounced off the rim, top, blah, blah, blah. He says, Every now and then there will be some rim drama, but for the most part, almost every green will be all net. That sounds sexy. Okay. Okay, nigga. Now, <sighs> King Cole says, Does that mean a playmaker shot creator will be able to get drops or primary playmakers? Mike Wang says only primary playmakers. Now look, the playmaker and shot creator is ass compared to compared compared to the shot maker, which shot creating is first. Because I used them this year, I play, played with them and all that shit on someone else's account, right? You couldn't shoot as good. You couldn't shoot middies as good. You couldn't shoot threes as good. You weren't as OP, but you were faster. You couldn't finish as good, but you were faster. That was about 
the only difference, you know? Like, you felt stronger and faster, like, driving, but you couldn't, like, dick niggas at the midi. You know, with a playmaking shot creator, nigga, you fucking a god, you know? You are literally a fucking god. But he says only primary, nigga. But primary shot creators are the only ones who can break ankles with step-back jumpers. Um, I guess that's some NBA Live shit. Um, that sounded kind of toxic. I don't know what the fuck that means, nigga. Like, you hold the button and you just eh, eh, go into animation and throw that shit up. That shit sound crazy. I don't know. How y'all think that shit gonna be? Now, Young Tone Crazy. <laughs> this nigga says, Now with the new TakeOver badge, is it guaranteed... You will not miss green releases or get a green release blocked while shooting if it's possible. Please reply. Oh, shut up. Nigga says nothing is guaranteed. So is that low key like niggas is missing greens? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that shit. That shit used to piss me the fuck off. God damn, this nigga tweeted so much. So this nigga Brandon Hayes says, how long does this takeover mode typically last? Or does it all depend on your in-game performance? Mike Wang says, takeover length depends on your overall rating. Bums can get it, but it's super short, specifically longer for good players. Now, what do you mean by good? Your record or your rating? I guess that's just your rating because you said that in the beginning. I don't know why you said good players. Um, really doesn't make sense. So Mike Wang, Mike Wang replies to some nigga saying no more classroom videos. I don't know if that confirms pro proximity chat. I don't know. Agent dropped a video talking about it. I don't know why he would say that shit. Um, I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> now Mark Page says, you know, he he a concerned nigga. Nigga got four numbers in his name, so. I don't know, bro. He says, what stops pure sharps from abusing deep bad shots? Mike Wang says, timing is much tougher. And if you get a nearby defender, you can expect to see a lot of bricks. That's what I fucking want, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> but a pure sharp and take over left wide open with good timing is going to hurt a lot of teams. Okay, nigga. That, that don't sound too toxic, but I don't know. Now, Young Crazy says... Basically, how can you unlock the takeover badge? Y'all remember at Grand, to get the Grand Badge, you had to do all this shit in my career. It was mad easy, basically. But Mike Wang says, you have the ability to use takeover off rip. It's not a badge. It's tied to your arc. You just won't be able to use the full capabilities of your takeover until you get your badges and ratings up. I don't know what rating is the max takeover, but that's all the news, my nigga. But yeah, man. That is the fucking video, bro. Make sure y'all um like, comment, subscribe, share all my videos with your motherfucking friends. Sub to me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch in description. Follow all my social media. Go watch my last video. Sub to my second channel. Watch the video on there. Um, shout out to me. Shout out to you niggas. Make sure y'all niggas drink a gallon of water a day. You know, um... You won't have fucking dandruff in your fucking hair. You won't be no dirty ass bitch. Uh, stay in school, nigga. Play as many sports as possible. Don't be on this fucking game, nigga. If you're not making no fucking money all day, you know, enjoy your life, man. Reward yourself with video games, man. Don't be no geek. If you're not making money off of this shit, man, I'm going to say it again. There, there's way too many of you niggas overplaying this shit and not making a buck off of this. You're, you're literally wasting your life, bro. Seriously. Enjoy your life, man. When you look back on your life, man, you're going to remember your, your in real life moments, nigga. Make some friends, nigga. Even though all them niggas fake as shit, but, you know, socialize, bro. Don't be one of these video game niggas. Trust me. <laughs> These niggas is lame. But um I love all you niggas. Shout out to um all of y'all for all the support. This video long as shit. Shout out if you made it this far. 
second to none. Big dog swan, I'm out this time.